Sure, we all love gemstones that are visually stunning, but the ones that have the ability to do something are particularly impressive. Regular viewers of this show are familiar with thermochromic and fluorescent gemstones, the ones that have the ability to change colors when exposed to different temperatures and types of light. But my favorite of the performing gemstones are the ones that can store an electric charge. There are a few gems that possess this incredible superpower, most notably quartz crystal. This stone develops its unique relationship with voltage when pressure is applied, otherwise known as piezoelectric. Electricity. In order to understand why quartz and other crystals like it have this electrical ability, we have to look at the molecular crystal structures that make up the stone, which possess an asymmetrical structure that allows ions to move more easily along one axis than the other. As the gem is stressed, each side of the crystal assumes an opposite charge, causing a voltage drop across the stone. Because of this, quartz crystals can be incredibly useful in certain electrical applications. <laughs> earliest uses of quartz piezoelectricity was in World War I, when scientists combined a transducer made out of quartz crystals surrounded by two metal plates with an underwater speaker. The speaker, or a hydrophone, would shoot high frequencies into the water, and the quartz-infused transducer would detect the amount of time that it took the reflected high-frequency sound to return. When the returning sound hit the transducer, the quartz crystal would flex, producing a voltage. The amount of time it took for the sound to return allowed these World War I engineers to measure how far away an object was, a system that would later become known as sonar. What is it, a pot of whales? Uh-uh, bigger. It sounds metallic. Could be an echo off one of the wrecks. Do you want to do my job? Be my guest. Now, I'm not saying that piezoelectric quartz was World War I's Captain America, but this invention certainly made these gemstones pretty important. Since then, quartz crystals have kind of become the Dwayne Johnson of electrical gadgets, in that they seem to commonly have a starring role. You thought I was going to make a The Rock joke there, didn't you? If you're watching this video on a smartphone, you may be holding a quartz crystal in your hand. That's because our fancy phones use another feature of piezoelectric to create stable electric frequencies to maintain the phone's clock and create a baseline frequency for sending and receiving phone calls. Do you remember phone calls? The principle here is mostly the same as what we previously discussed, but in reverse. If an electrical charge is applied to the crystal, the stone will physically flex. If a stable electrical current is applied, the quartz will change shape at a stable frequency, kind of like a heartbeat. This doesn't just make quartz useful in cell phones. Other electronics also take advantage of this feature, including radios, digital clocks, and watches. If you want to learn more about how this principle is applied in cell phones, check out our video on crystals in your phone. Now, quartz isn't the only gemstone that can contain an electrical charge. Amber, a stone made of fossilized tree resin, can also store charge using a principle called the triboelectric effect. This fun to say effect is defined by an object's ability to gain an electric charge by coming into frictional contact with another material, like wool or cotton. The ancient Greeks noticed that when they would use the translucent brown stone in jewelry, other materials, like hair and cloth would become attracted to the stone over time. Because of this, the ancient Greeks named it amber, which in Greek is pronounced electron. Sound familiar? Because of the unpredictability of this effect, there aren't really any ways to harness amber's triboelectric power. Unless you think dragging your feet across the carpet while wearing an amber necklace along with your wool footy pajamas in order to store a charge only to discharge that electric voltage on your closest relative is useful. And if you do, you might be Peter Griffin. <laughs> Ow! But if you're not Peter Griffin, and let's face it, none of us are, then I guess you'll just have to save the triboelectric power of amber for your next party trick. Do you ever squeeze quartz crystals at a stable frequency in your free time? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.